Thank you for joining us again and welcome back to our channel. If you are joining us for the first time, we want to thank you for watching. In this episode, I will be diving into the reason why the failure of France's foreign policy in the Sahel is also a clear indication of the European Union's failures in the region. In terms of all other strategic options, in this episode, I will be diving into the reason why the European Union should learn that the continent of Africa is sending a strong message that you either work with us as equal partners or we shall be working alongside other strategic partners. In this episode, I will be looking at France's failures in the region, dive into specifics, look at the European Union strategy and the reason why France faced a lot of difficulties with regards to its operation in the Sahel region. I will dive into other analytical information, so I will encourage you to watch this video to the end for clarity and better understanding. So without any more delay, let's just dive straight into it. After nearly a decade of military intervention, France has finally withdrawn its soldiers from the country of Mali, Burkina Faso, Guinea and most recently in Niger. The departure not only symbolizes a failure of French intervention policy in the region, but also it reflects Europe's foreign policy weakness. Yet a more muted French footprint could also be an opportunity to build a more balanced and credible approach towards the Sahel region and across the continent of Africa as the continent of Africa continues to send its signals that it's not going to be business as usual. If you look at strategic option, former French president Francois Hollande announced partially victory over the Jihad group in January of 2013 if I take you back when he stated clearly that France has no vacation to stay in Mali. Those were its own words in quote. France had begun its military intervention four days earlier before that particular statement was made. Nearly a decade later, another French president used those very words to announce the end of French troops' presence. On August 15, the last soldier of Operation Bakanande left Malian territory. If you look at perspective, between 2013 and also 2021, the mood in Mali and the Sahel towards France took a sharp turn. Initially hailed as liberators, Paris then faces accusation of failing to get a grip on the security situation and even perpetuating a new colonial pattern of independence. If you look at other aspects, if I take you back to 2022, the dispute with Malian military government led to expulsion of French ambassador followed by termination of bilateral military cooperation. Paris preempted the also the expulsion of Bakanande by deciding to withdraw itself. But even after that, there is no end to sight with regards to that particular relationship at the time. Most recently, the Malian government has also accused France intervention in a number of territorial issues with regards to the particular part of the continent of Africa. It is already clear that with France's withdrawal as part of European foreign policy, has also shown a clear failure and lack of strategic option in the continent of Africa. This is evidenced, among other things, by the Wagner Group's presence in the region, currently known as the Russian Expeditionary Force, and a wave of populist, sometimes stringent anti-Western discourse. As a result, President Emmanuel Macron tried to refix the relationship towards damage control and limitation, which never worked. With all of this in mind, it shows an indication of a failed strategy that never took off from the ground. If you look at the path to dependency to prevent strategic adaptation with regards to the policy, since the mid-1990s, France's foreign and security policy towards Francophone African countries has oscillated between historical continuity and also driven for change. Francois Hollande, the former president of France, too also had taken office as a modernizer. At the same time, his worldview was shaped by the experience of global wars on terror after the particular event that happened in the United States of America. France, linguistically, historically, geographically, and also socioculturally, proximity to its former colonies, and the cross-party understanding and also of France's special role and responsibility in the world, for which Africa often serves as a projection screen. If you look at the geopolitics in play, taking you back to 2013 January, when it was rumored in the media that there was a march towards the capital Bamako at the time, 
the Malian then interim president, Diakonda Traore, asked France to support at based on his own perspective with regards to the events at the time. However, attempts to launch an African peacekeeping force failed. Holam, who had ruled out military intervention until very end, finally gave the order to intervene. Less than a month later, 4,500 combat troops were in Mali, quickly pushing back the jihadists. In 2014, the intervention eventually transformed into regional and also open-ended military intervention called Operation Bacchanande. From the beginning, Paris pursued a policy of internationalizing the intervention, claiming international collaboration and French leadership at the same time. They served both to share the burden and also legitimize French intervention, which was visible in the mobilization of the United Nations MONUSCMA and also the European Union EUTM and you do have the EUCAP Sahel and the numerous bilateral European partners which also included Germany at the time. If you look at the failed strategy and the intervention on how it also moved to a whole full strategic option that France found itself today, the result of the decade-long intervention are now well known. For France, Mali became a foreign policy fiasco. The political goal remained vague until the end as we all saw, reinforcing the impression of a military bias without strategic purposes. Paris turned late and hesitantly to a more balanced approach. For example, development cooperation played only a minor role in the French policy to stabilizing the region. Aid flow in the region were mainly seen as an instrument in support of counterinsurgency measures and as a providing legitimacy to French military operations. Although Paris declared the Sahel a foreign policy priority, if I take you back based on information, in 2018, five Sahelian states accounted for only 10% of total French development assistance to Africa, with Mali receiving only 2.5%. The fact that this level has remained unchanged since 2013 shows the discrepancies between declared political priorities and actual allocation of funds. As African countries continue to make strategic choices, leaning towards Moscow and also Beijing, China, this is also sending shockwaves across Africa's geopolitical partners across the world. Other political incoherencies further damaged the credibility of French Sahel policy in the region. A prominent example is the support for the unconstitutional takeover of power in Chad by Mohamed Deby in 2021. In marked contrast, Paris went on course of political confrontation with military governments in Bamako. The many prevailing contradictions in Europe's approach to crisis become apparent when the European Union enforced sanctions against Mali, why France saw no problem in continuing the joint fight against terrorism with the same government. If you look at the strategic option and the double standard in several areas with regards to geopolitics taking its hold, if you look at the European joint failures, like I will point out with regards to how Europe should interact and also engage the continent of Africa with the presence of Russians, who are also ex extensively engaging Africa from a different dynamics as we all see how Niger has expelled the United States of America looking at the 100 and something million US dollars drone base in Algades in the country of Niger. This sends shockwaves across how Europe and also engaging Africa in several areas. France's undisputed role as the leader and driving force of the international coalition in the Sahel should not, however, ignore collective European responsibility. European Union member states followed a more or less coordinated and rather linear course for almost 10 years, while the apparent lack of success. European partners have neither properly challenged French leadership and political guidance, nor have they succeeded in correcting the course once taken at the time, if you looked at the current failures regarding strategic options, there were divergent views on a number of issues and in private conversation, officials from European countries have not hesitated to also express frustration about French course of action with regards to the strategic option in the continent of Africa. An example of such European obedience is the G5 Sahel Joint Force. As of 2018, it was proclaimed a lighthouse project by Paris and was attributed to crucial importance in solving the crisis in Mali. As a result, Germany and other countries 
devoted considerable political attention and financial support. However, the G5 was never able to fulfill its own unrealistic targets and expectations. Another example concerned possible political dialogue between Bamako and also the current uh, issues that happened in that particular region of the continent of Africa. Berlin aligned itself with the French position, which declares such an endeavor a taboo, despite broader support for such an undertaking in Mali itself. Yet another example is the aforementioned, like I pointed out, the discrepant dealings with the government in Mali and Chad. Despite audible grumbling, European partners were unwilling or unable to impose political consistency. These also show the double standard with regards to how Europe in particular concerning the strategic option of the European Union engages the continent, allowing France to take full control in the region, which were never producing effective results. If you look at the push towards a more collective Europe in Africa, based on that particular French strategy, the European Union was hiding behind France in engaging the region. Despite its peculiarities, the breakdown of Malian French relationship is symptomatic of crisis of French African policy. Paris is crystallizing deep-seated resentment in its former colonies and also increasingly coming into the fore. The resultant dilemma for Germany is that its closest partner has increasingly become more of a liability in the relationship between West Africa. Today, standing by France's side can incur reputation risk in the continent of Africa, as geopolitical expert will say. Berlin also distancing itself from Paris will undermine the importance of Franco-German relations, especially since Africa, while not unimportant, is not on foremost issue for an alliances. Throughout Mali and the region, the prevailing public perception is that France defines the European Union position on the continent of Africa. This is not an entirely mistaken view. Local observers correctly assume that France has much greater ambition in the region than any other European country and thus greater incentive to shape and also influence European policy in the continent of Africa. If the European Union is to play a stronger and more credible role in Africa, the design and implementation of its policies must change, both in terms of substance and also communication. The European Union and its member states must challenge the reputation of being merely France's support act. Member states that have in heading to played a less prominent role in the region despite their financial and military capabilities, should become more vocal in defining the European Union approach towards the Sahel region. The Team European Approach in Development Cooperation may be able to set an example with regards to other strategic options. Together with partners, countries and regional organizations, small groups of European member states can set a coordination development and also priority policy. Franco-German frictions over Mali's failure in recent years and also at least a positive indication that divergent views are now being discussed more than often in relation to European Union policy in the continent of Africa. France hasn't delivered with regards to its own perspective. Whether France will shed its habitus of European natural leaders in Africa is by no means certain. However, recent events in Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger and also Guinea has considerably shaken old French certainties about its position in the world, second largest continent. This could be an opportunity for German and also European Union countries to play a greater role than before in shaping European policy towards the Sahel region and Francophone West Africa. More importantly, engage all African countries as equal partners. The current France's failures in the Sahel region has indicated that the European Union policy hasn't been working so far and why Europe is hiding behind France as France continues to drive the strategic failures with regards to its operation in the region. However, most recently, we all have seen how the authorities in France have engaged the country of Guinea, why the Russian Foreign Minister Sergio Lavrov visit to the country of Burkina Faso and Guinea. France automatically sent its own envoy to engage the leaders in this particular country. We want to thank you for watching. Let us know what you think in regards to the current failures of France's silent policy and why European Union is also tied to that particular failures in the region. Leave us a comment. Keep the conversation going. We are looking forward to meeting you soon in our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.